Good day, good day. This is Dr. Dave with Safe Day Trading. Going over the eavesdrop trading for today. This is the last day of April the 30th. And here we are, start of eavesdrop was at 8 o'clock. We had a call right, I actually made the call before eavesdrop started, but everybody was on. And we said sell here, bona fide, ratified, was at uh, 1743. And we just had our target set for $80 and it ended up going a little more than that. But we all got out at 80 bucks on that first trade of the morning, uh, right at 8 in the morning. So then we waited. We had a next call right here, bona fide. And that entry point is ratified and we call it at 45, some, yeah, 1745. And we had it set for first target was to get up to the 50. And second target was to get 100 bucks out of the deal. And so some of us got out with that, the fiver, and then some people took it all the way up to the 100 bucks. And obviously there was a little bit more left in. Uh, you could have wrote it all the way up, and then as it came back down, you got you got out with your 50 bucks one way or the other. So uh, two trades, we were up 100, 150 bucks, uh, $200 possibly for some people. Uh, then the next thing we had, we had the dot here. And that was bona fide at 8:20, and ratified right away the next minute, and that was ratified at 17:41, and we took that for $100 on the way down. So now at this point in time, we're up possibly $300, and we're 23, 25 minutes into the eavesdrop session. Um, and this wasn't a great trading day. There were uh, no big, big moves yet. Um, here's a Dex dot. It was at 8:34. It got bona fide, but never really got ratified. Uh, for sure, never got certified. And then the next trade here was right here. Zero line rejection call. And we got in at this point in time, bona fide. Uh, actually made the call to get in early. Uh, the call was made to get in here at 17.20 on oil. So we got in at 17.20. And with the momentum, we wanted to take it to um, the Niner here. So that was a $300 call. Now, if you would have waited till it got bona fide and ratified, you would have got in here at 17.04 and taken it down, and there was $140 in it to the Niner. So, either way, uh, but the way we call it, we had $300 to the good. So, at this point in time, we're up $600. Uh, and then waiting for the next trade. Obviously, there was a lot of money. So we left there. There's another hundred dollars in underneath the niner there. And then we got the turn here. We got the dot bona fide. It did get ratified. It didn't make the call. Uh, I didn't like the look of the shooting star at this point in time, so I didn't make the call there. But it did get bona fide, and you could have made all uh, sixty, seventy dollars at that point in time uh, from the entry point, which would have been at uh, seventeen ninety-five or ninety-six, and it went all the way up there to. 17.05 or 06. So there was $100 worth of movement in it. Um, so if you can believe the dot, it will make you a lot. At that point, though, we did not make the call at that point in time, and we waited out for the rest of the uh, eavesdrop session. Uh, and then we had the movement here. It was an illegal trade. Uh, definitely had a lot of movement, but we didn't make that call. Um, then after everybody was off, uh, we had the next call of the day, and this was not during eavesdrop, but we were still on. Here's a dot at 9.14, bona fide, it got ratified right away the next candle. So we were in that trade at 16.83, target one was a niner, and we had, I had two contracts on at that point in time. So that was my first one to get out at that point in time. So. Uh, we made $70 on the first trade, the second one I let ride. It did come down to the entry level and then it started migrating back up. And again, we had the first one done, so we had $70. Uh, so we had all the commissions paid for for both of them with that. So we just wanted to let it ride and see what happened. And here we come, start to go. Look at the safe day trading dot lines are continue to go across. At this point in time, we could have got out after a few minutes and it got all the way up to 1720 and again before we got in before the niner uh, so that would have been 270 dollars if we would have taken it at that peak but i didn't 
and let it come back down. It got to this 8 and I got out of that trade at that point in time when it got back to this 8. Uh, and so that was 17.05. Um, so there was $220, I guess is what I ended up making on that particular trade with the, the second contract. First one we made 70, so 290 altogether. But then this thing came back down, zero line rejection, came back, and here is the entry. And again, this is the same dot, same dot set to play this. And we look at the dot lines, it started to expand in here, so that's where we entered. Right here at, I think it was 1720 is where we got in. And took this up and all the way up. We went to the first, we were looking at it, possibly getting out of the fiber, but it went through so fast, I just let it go. And it came back and didn't get me out. I had my cell to get out at uh, 48 or 49, and it didn't take it there. So then it just went up, and as soon as it hit the 1790 is when I got out of it. So that particular trade, uh, if I would have just stayed in from the first of that, it was 1000 bucks. But as it was, we got $200 or $300 on this trade with the two contracts. And the third contract we got in here at 1720 uh, maybe it was 17, 20 something, 30 maybe, as it went above this 200, and we took it all the way to the 90, 1790. So a good 600, $650 on that trade. Again, following the dot, you can make a lot. And the dot, the system of the dot, tells you even when not to get in. For instance, here's a dot at this point in time, at a little after 10. It was bona fide, never got ratified and never got certified. So we didn't get into that trade and it obviously turned around and went back up. So the dot system is not only to help make you money, but has helped to prevent you from losing money. Um, again, the dot system here, it did tell us in a way to stay in, but at this point in time, see how close these lines were getting. So that's an indication that the trade could be done. And when it went through this eight, we said, okay, we're, we got out of the trade. Um, we were all the way down to zero and it turned around and that means okay now this could get re reignited and so we just waited and i think it was after the 200 when i finally entered that trade so it was let's say 30 and took it to the 90 so for 600 bucks but that's all it takes you get the dot you've learned the system so you know when to enter you know what your targets are and you know when not to get in and that may be just as important as when to get in because you can make 10 trades and if eight of them that you made are good, that's fantastic, right? You made 50, 60, 100, 200, 300 dollars on each one that goes up. And the two or three that got that you didn't get right, that just didn't pan out, you maybe lost 40 or 50 dollars, or zero, or you got out with a 10 or 20 dollar profit. The key is is to keep that number, the ones that you're right higher now if you did 10 trades and there was five of them as soon as the dot happened you got in just because there was a dot there then you might be 60 percent of the time you might be right but as you follow the entire system it tells you when he, the dot tells you to get ready the rest of the system tells you that's confirmed remember it's bona fide ratified certified and then profitize so we have to wait for the certification process and that certification process is a series of different things that need to happen now sometimes those things happen in a myriad matter of 5 10 15 seconds and sometimes they take 5 to 10 minutes to go from ratification to certification either way if you wait for it and patient follow the system that's when following the dot can certainly make you a lot so with that that's what happened today on east drive as far as oil is concerned uh, we had some good good stuff going on in gold as well, uh, but that's what we did in oil. Make yours a fantastic and profitable day. SafeDayTrading.org. See you there.